everybody, my name is Judy Wong and I was the head um, makeup artist for Dublin Fashion Festival. So the guys at Dublin Town have invited me here to record um, a Halloween look and I have my beautiful model Amanda that I'm going to be working on, so here we go. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to lighten up Amanda's face because she's just come back from a holiday. So we're going to use the Chanel Le Blanc and this is really just perfect for just um, just priming her face. Because what we want to do is we want to kind of pale down her skin. The look we're kind of going for is inspired a little bit from Edward Scissorhands, if anyone knows the, the old school 80s movie. So really, really beautiful pale face is going to happen here. So I'm going to use the MAC paint stick. So anyone at home, if you have a paint stick or a paint pot, just literally lob it on top of the face. No, no real kind of Technique needs to be perfect here. Just pop it on. The wider, the better. So, we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> Scary much? Okay. So we're just gonna buff this on. I'm actually using um, a blusher brush, as you can see here, because what I find is when you're using paint, they sometimes, um, they don't move as easy, so, um, with a, a foundation brush. So I'm just gonna use the, the blusher brush really to buff and blend. So right now what I'm going, I'm doing is I'm actually using the MAC paint stick and I'm actually focusing just on the center of Amanda's face, creating almost like a, a white triangle mask-like effect. So by doing that, you just really, you just layer on a little bit more product just on the center and then use a flat foundation brush just to kind of create a little bit more shape around the edge. So I'm going to use um, a Chanel angle brush and I'm going to paint a little bit of the paint on the inner side um, of Amanda's eye so we're going to need to look up and look away. So very gently with a wide angle brush. You want to get rid of any of the pinkiness on the inside of the eye. Just be super gentle because you're going on the inside of the eye. So what we want to do next is use the black paint from MAC and maybe like a little angle brush and we're just going to frame that lovely area here on Amanda's face. Okay, so just grab a little bit of the product. This can be slightly messy and not so perfect. Voila. What we're going to use is a loose powder from Gosh. This is a priming powder as well and it's just a loose powder to set the makeup because you really don't want it to move anywhere so I'm using a fan brush today instead of this larger brush but I will be using both of them so let's go ahead so what we're going to do is we're, gonna, we're just going to use the pure white paint stick again and then just to clean wand, um, grab a little bit of the product on the wand and we're just going to comb through Amanda's brows and her lashes because we want everything to be quite pale. So what I would do is go the opposite direction so that every hair catches the product. Now for some special effects. We have these beautiful lashes, quite feathery, fun. What we're gonna do with these lashes, we're gonna flip it around and we're gonna place it underneath her eye area. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of glue. So Amanda, you hold this. I'm gonna grab a little bit of duo glue. 
get a little tiny blob on the back of my hand. And when it comes to lashes, what you want to do is just make sure that you place it on the actual frame of the lash. So I'll flip it around and just gently guide the lash along the duo glue. Now it needs to take about 10 to 20 seconds for it to be tacky before you want to apply that underneath. So for quite a dramatic effect. And we're going to get Amanda to look upwards. And we'll let this lean slightly underneath the corner of our eye. And then, <laughs> last but not least, what we want to do is give her a little bit of a, a dark lip look. So, which is quite on trend for this season. So using just my fingertip, I'm just going to press a little bit on the center. Just kind of almost like a geisha style, keep it in the center. Ceiling will be this beautiful YSL lip gloss. It's called Per Rouge Per 49. Just use a little bit of this YSL gloss, which is like a black black gloss. Use my MAC lip brush. Just paint a little gloss on the top. Um, and hold on a second, I'm going to grab a wig. And there you go guys, that is my beautiful finished Halloween look. My name is Judy Wong, I'm sure I'll be seeing you with the Dublin Town and Dublin Fashion Festival again and enjoy your Halloween. Happy Halloween.